Welcome back to another devlog of Skyline Scooters. It's an uh, arcade style game with big jumps, big crashes and a little bit of violence and brutality. This week we are going to focus on our main character and address the fact that he's probably neither likable or charismatic. Oh my God! Every game needs at least one likable main character to have a chance for success, but I couldn't figure out how to design my own characters to look really cool. But then I got this brilliant idea. I have literally spent hundreds of hours watching other indie game developers doing their devlogs. Wouldn't it be cool if we make a tribute to their games and put their main characters in our game? Uh, it, it isn't stealing, is it? One of my absolute favorite devlogs is the one about the yellow boxer without a face. The game is called Punch a Bunch. I recommend you to visit this devlog if you haven't already. Okay, let's start making the yellow boxer. This was my very first time opening Blender, so please bear with me. The first try wasn't the success I was hoping for. I have to admit that the first hour was a real struggle, but the second try was a lot better than the first one. Let's say it's good enough. Then I made a little bit of rigging with much help by this fellow sweet guy. I recommend these tutorials, they are gold. And here's our new hero inside of Unity, finally. I think we are calling him Punchy. I added some animations and then tried him out. It's fine I guess, but what's the point of having a hero like this if we haven't got any special abilities? After all, he's the punch a bunch guy. We need to give him the ability to punch, of course. To not make him a total superhero, we limit his punch to be only a right hook. And here's how the punch animation looks in game. To be able to detect a punch, we have to add a collider to his right hand. And then make some coding to ragdoll the opponent when hit. It works, but not enough juiciness. We need effects here to even come close to the original. Let's not be greedy with the particle effects to the punch. Okay, the next character that we are going to add to the game doesn't really need any presentation. His name is not Swenson nor Nilsson and he likes milk. The things we need to model for him besides the player rig is a banana and a milk package. Here he is in the game. And of course he also needs a special ability just like Punchy. I'm thinking some sort of throw mechanic here. Ok, let's add the ability to throw a banana. I first created the animation and then some code to actually be able to make the throw. For that we have to instantiate a new banana at the same time. And this is how it looks in game right now. To aim you have to be perfectly in line straight at your target. Let's also make a trail render to be able to see the banana a bit better. Overall this is a pretty powerful weapon. Much easier to use than Punch's punch, which requires a little bit more precision to hit your target without being hit yourself. To get the privilege to play with these characters with special abilities, you will have to earn it first. It will not come cheap. It will require us to add pickups to the game and that's what's next on the to-do list. Comment if you have any suggestions on more custom players and abilities that we should add. And also... Subscribe! <laughs> 